In Visio 2016, we have the option to connect different objects together when it makes sense for the picture that we're trying to create. And in no other place does it make more sense than creating a network. Let's go to File and choose New. And we're going to choose a network setup. So we'll go ahead and scroll down to where it says Basic Network Diagram. And we've got several different ones to choose from. Let's go ahead and choose US Units. Click Create. And now we have this nice blank page. So on the left-hand side, we've got lots of different options. So even if you're not creating a network drawing, you may want to still connect your objects for various different reasons. An organizational chart is another great reason to connect different objects that are in your drawing. So let's go to put a switch in the middle of our page. And from here, we're going to put in a server. And we're lining up the server to the switch. So we want to connect these two together to show that there's an Ethernet cable connected between our server and our switch. So let's see how we can connect those. Let's click on Connector. And when we click on Connector, then the picture changes. So before, we had it on the Pointer tool. So when we click on here, it just looks like we can move it around and resize it. When we click on Connector, now we see it turns green and when we highlight it. So what we can do is we can take this middle section here, this little box, left click, and then drag over to our network switch and let go. So now we have created a link between our server and our switch. And one of the cool things about this link is if we go back to the pointer tool and we highlight our server, we can move our server around and we can see the connection stays with it. You can see here it even changed the shape of the line to keep up with its new location. So pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and add another computer. And this time we're going to add a PC. Drag a PC over. And we'll go back to our connector. And once again, we'll left click and drag it there. So we can add as many different devices as we like. And we can just go ahead and connect it using this connector option. Now keep in mind when we do connect these that if you decide you want to do something else such as adding text or, re or moving around your object that you've just uh, created and linked, you have to change to either the pointer tool or the text tool. Because when you're in the connector mode, you can't pick anything up and move it around. All you can do is create a connector. Let's go back to the pointer tool, and now we can move this to another location. Now here you see, when I moved it to another location, because of the fact the computer here and the computer here are both connected to the switch, rather than keeping that same link, it just linked these together. And you may not want that. So let's go ahead and highlight the bar, the link, between these two, and then hit the delete key. Now we'll go back to connector and we'll drag our connection again, and now it's separated those two, so they're no longer connected to each other, they're just connected back to the switch. So if you decide you have a device that is not connected to the switch, it's just out there on the network, but uh, not part of this particular network, you can just go ahead and highlight it and hit the delete key again, and it makes it go away. So we can say all these devices are connected to the switch with the exception of this one computer. So that's how we create connectors between various different pictures in our Visio drawing.